How do you fill a 300,000 square foot office building in the heart of London's evolving financial district? Easily, or at least that is the hope of Stanhope and Mitsui Fudasan, the team behind the recently completed Angel Court. The 24-storey building is divided into garden floors and sky floors, with rents starting at around £65 per square foot and rising to circa £85 per square foot for the top levels, where you can find uninterrupted 360-degree views across London. The seventh floor also features a garden terrace with a communal area accessible to all tenants. So far, the partners have secured tenants for around 50% of the building, including all of the retail and leisure space, and around 30% of the offices, where there's a further 15 to 20% under offer. We've got a lot of banking interest, um, but we've also got um, uh, a key occupier coming across from the West End who, who will be taking a, a large portion of the lower floors. Uh, we've got a lot of consultancy, advisory type businesses looking at it as well. So the, the villages of, of central London are sort of long gone, apart from maybe the insurance district, which is still sort of a bit unique. So um, we're finding right across London, it, it's quality of co accommodation. Uh, the amenity that goes with it is almost always top of the list with occupiers because they're obviously very conscious that employees are footloose and fancy free these days, so they've got to have the best possible accommodation, but obviously the price point as well. So the city is relatively uh, you know, cost, cost efficient when you start comparing with some of the prime West End areas. Secured tenants include Shanghai Pudong Development Bank, financial data management firm Reams Technologies and Booper. We have past experience in our uh, projects that if you have exciting and sexy retail, uh, it really, really speaks to the clients and to the community as well. We've encountered so many times where people were not walking the streets on a certain time of day and when we built a new building and put exciting retail into it, people are flocking in the afternoons. And I think it adds a liveliness to the community and we're trying to achieve the same results here. Are the partners concerned about the impact of Brexit on the city occupier market? I think had it been 20 years ago when the, the city was so dominated by you know the banking sector and all the ancillary businesses that go with it it would have been a much bigger concern you know the take up as you know as in in recent years has been much more dominated by uh, tech uh, life sciences those sorts of businesses so uh, the city is much less uh, dependent upon uh, the banking sector now so i think for that reason and the fact that we're finding certainly it's not stopping banks taking, you know, specific, particularly rep offices in, in the city and those Ansari uses that need to be near the financial services are still here. So yes, I think if there's a minor reduction in take up from that sector, then it will be uh, fairly happily replaced by other, other sectors. This is Louisa Clarence Smith reporting for EG.